probably noticed something that I, especially at the end there, I did a very slow release of the fingers in order to lessen the this sort of artifact in between. It's a slow song. Secondly, at the very beginning, I placed the fourth finger and it remained in total contact, pressed down until I received it again an entire measure later. And this is a primary example of playing the note prior. This note I played prior. See that? I played during and I played after. So that's a good example there. Another place where we do prior, during, and after is right here with the C sharp. You play it prior, during, and after. The after part is the slow release of the finger. So you have a smooth transition, especially when you play a piece with a lot of legato in it. Then you're going to be able to experience that a little bit smoother. So how you do this is you don't really necessarily you don't necessarily break rules. There is the fingers right here. They are ready to play, extending out. My thumb is perfectly in the first position. I'm giving myself a little more arch space underneath that little digit because I'm playing an open A. And that will aid me to return back to the G natural right here. And while I do this, it allows me the opportunity to really think and relax and enjoy the smooth flowing legato that the bow is providing for the song. This is the second part where I play during the open D, the C sharp prior, then I play during and then I play after. arch your hand. You really need to lift that left elbow. If you are lazy with your elbows, you're not going to be able to play the cello. You might as well throw it out the window. You got to walk around like this. You need a lot of space. You got to put your elbows up to play the cello. It's simple as. If you can't get the simple concept and you think you're so relaxed because you're sitting down and you're playing cello, get it together. You got to lift your elbows up, especially if you want to play an open string while depressing the little digit right here. So this is a prime example of the need to be this way. I'm already on it. There I'm after. The same technique that I did, the extended here, it was extended to the B flat. Now it's C sharp to E natural. It's the same extension, lifting the digits interior so I can really lift that little digit off. It's something you should practice. With repetition and time, you can get it.